So I had a really good question there uh, about this particular thing. Um, uh, and that was to take the chain rig and uh, connect it to um, an animated uh, object. So that's, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too simple. I mean, it's, it's not too simple either. But uh, yeah, so let's say you want to um, connect the, uh, the chains to, to something uh, animated and then have that react properly. You can't just rig it up. So um, I'm going to go over how to do that. It's actually, it's fairly straightforward. So uh, if you've watched the last video, I'd recommend that because I'm going to go through it a little bit more, a little quicker here. So uh, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the... Um, the chain object. So I'm going to import chain obj. Again, this is all one piece. So I'm going to separate that. I'm going to do modify freeze transformations and uh, center the pivot on that one. So uh, what I'm going to do is in this particular case, I'm working on something that uh, requires, I mean, what it is, is this chain uh, connected to a car and the car is dragging an ATM behind it. Um, so I'm going to do that as an example. It's very, it's very close to what you'd be doing for, uh, for the two arms and, and the chains in there. So I'm going to create uh, an object here, and that's going to represent my car. Um, let's just take a look here. It's not going to be super accurate. Okay, so here's my car. I'm going to say I'm going to connect that over here, and then I'm going to just duplicate that, and then just make it a little bit smaller. Uh, to represent the UGM. And here you go, snap. Okay, so uh, so this is gonna be slightly different, not, not crazy different. So uh, I'm gonna grab this and then this, and then I'm gonna go in here to my field solvers, which is again in the FX tab. Uh, we're gonna go over here to create a pin constraint, um, open that up, make sure that interpenetrate is connected, and then I'm gonna hit apply. Uh, and then I'm going to grab this one and this one, and then I'm going to hit G, and then G. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, and then keep connecting each one of the chain links to each other. Let's get in the way. Okay, so no, G. G. Oops, that's three. Okay, and then we'll go through the whole chain link thing here. Boom. Just hitting G to repeat the last command. Got some geo over here, so we're gonna have to move the camera. And then we're gonna go G. And then we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna take that same here uh, options. If you still have it up, switch that to nail, and then we're gonna kinda, oh, sorry, just one. And then we'll hit apply. Uh, once we have that, we should be able to see the actual constraint. I'm gonna stick it out a bit, so it's easy to access while we're looking in geo. Um, I'm going to switch wireframe on shaded so I can see everything. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab this, select that, and we're going to parent that over there. So that means everything this does, that actual. And you're not parenting the geo, you're parenting the uh, nail constraint. That's important. So uh, I'm going to give this bad boy a little bit of animation. So uh, I'm going to hit um, set key, S for set key. I'm going to go ahead about 100 frames. And I'm going to go forward. Oops, shoot. Okay. Sorry. I did try to animate the pin constraint. I don't want to do that. So we're going to set a keyframe there, go 100 frames in the future. Straight. I'm going to give it a little bit of a slide just to, to add some effect. Uh, set that. And so now you have this here. Now, the animation or the uh, dynamics are going to want to follow suit already. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this, make sure that this is, if you go to field solvers, we're going to have it uh, create a passive rigid body. Okay, so when I do that, um, we don't want active because we can't do anything with it when we do that. So it'll still have those keyframes, it'll still be working. Um, now another big thing is as soon as you turn this on, it's going to go crazy. Uh, we're going to need something to react with. So I'm going to create a ground plane, um, so to speak. And then we're going to line that up here. Perfect. And then just to kind of make it easier, I'm just going to go and make it easier. And then I'm going to make sure that it's my vehicle is going to be in there. So maybe we get a little bit bigger just so it doesn't run off the road, so to speak. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it for, for the animation stuff now, uh, like we did before. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, for the field solvers, you're going to need to make this also a uh, passive rigid body so that it can react with it. Now what we're going to do here is go into our outliner. And again, we're going to grab these chain toruses. Grab all of those, select them, and then also shift select this bad boy. Put the field solvers and then add a drag. Do the same thing here. Field select and then add a gravity. Don't worry about the car here um, because it's got its own uh, dynamics as well. So that's going to be okay. So we're going to go back here. I'm going to switch to 200 frames so we can see some cause and effect. But yeah, you see you got it dragging. It's bouncing off of the ground. It's sliding. This whole thing is coming with it. And when it hits it, the chain interacts and the ATM interacts and bounces off. Uh, there's a little bit of funny stuff going on over there. You could probably have to play around with it there, but at least you've got the idea. Um, I you can't really create a rig and have it parented. You have to kind of do the you have to parent it and do everything like this ahead of time um, before you add all the pin constraints and the, the gravity and all that stuff. So um, hopefully that's straightforward enough. Uh, you may if you're doing um, two different pieces. Yeah, I would say probably um, make these both act or passive uh, and then do pin constraints on both of them. So uh, if you have any questions, definitely let me know um, and we'll go from there.